Welcome to Brick Island. I have a mess in my hands right now. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about Brick Island and the city and what's happening, changing, and coming in the future. I've had Brick Island going and I had some sections of Brick Island. You may remember in previous episodes where we had like the upscale area of the city done, a skyscraper in there as well, and a few other things. But I had some better ideas, and even though I have a nice waterfront beach area with a boardwalk, it's not quite what I want. I want to add some more height and more features to the city that I can't add the way it is, as well as giving myself more room. As you can see right now, I'm standing in a big gap area, and that just wasted real estate, really. So I have plans to elevate parts of the city, add some access areas so I can get into work on parts of the city as well. And I want to show you a little bit about that in some nice little diagram I had created earlier and explain a little bit about what's going on. And I want to hear your feedback and comments about it and what you think. Because if you can be patient with this, it's a redesign of Brick Island City. There will be lots of episodes. This will probably take a year or two even. Um, but I think the wait will be worth it because I always have some cool ideas in my mind and I want to actually see this one through to fruition and make the city that I really like to see here. Now let's go talk about the design. The plan for the city is to elevate it and the reason I want to do this is I had done some research online and, and was wondering how do I put this Ninjago city into the, into the city and make it fit? It has all this water features at the bottom which means if I put it in the city it's either a pond or it just doesn't fit. I wanted it down at like a lower level to have like a river effect or going or going into the ocean. So what I'm planning on doing is raising the rest of the city besides this first row will be this height. Everything behind that and this, pardon what I'm using for examples right now, but you got this nice walkway where people can go to comic shops and whatever is here. I can't see right now. But the rest of the city will start at this height. So there'll be stairs coming up here somehow to get you to this part of the city. And then the rest of the city, for the most part, there will be some changes in elevation in one little section, which I can get to in another episode. But the rest of the city will be at this height. You'll have buildings on this road. There'll be stores and shops, and in the back will be skyscrapers and everything else. But it'll start based off of this being at this height and then raising everything else about seven or eight inches and not having open gaps. And again, that'll be explained in future episodes as well, how I'm going to hide what's under here. There'll be a train involved at one point, a subway train, which I'm designing the cars based off of a Spider-Man set. Again, you'll stay patient and you'll see a lot of this and as we come along throughout the year or so. We're here at the computer and you can see we have this big grid laid out. And this is basically 15.1 inch by 15.1 inch space plate. And you can see that there's some dotted and dashed lines and that's showing the raised section. So you saw me standing over at the Ninjago City. And that was basically in the bottom left corner here, the second base plate in. So the plan is to elevate the rest of the city and have all of this raised and whatever buildings are going to go here, 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 all over the once marked base plate. You can see these double lines here and the double lines are a train that goes beneath the city. So this part will be beneath the city and may, may be motorized or maybe just a facade so you can just see the train coming in and out. I'm not sure if I'm going to motorize it if I do. I'll make a loop around underneath the city, which you won't see except for here, and a little bit over here behind the Ninjago part, but that may be out of view as well. But you will see here, a section here, which would make it look nice. This part may be open, or smaller buildings here to let you see into the rocky area as well. Now, the Spider-Man Battle Bridge, you may have seen that set. It's now a retired set, but that's what this dark strip here is. So there's the dark strip there will let you, let me put two of the Spider-Man sets together and create a bridge from one part of the city to the other and it's just again to create some depth, some elevation into the city. The big black squares are for me. That's where I'm going to stand and you'll see me pop up out of those squares and that way I can access parts of the city that I want to fix and update and not have to climb on the table which is what I've done in the past and it, trust me, one arm goes left and my foot goes into a building so I don't want to do that anymore. I do have a little bit up here of some trains marked, but that's underneath, which is why they're a little lighter, but I'm not sure I'm going to expose those at all. If I could raise them up and then back down, I could do that, but that's kind of tricky to do in that limited space, so I probably won't. 
But this is the technical details of my idea. I thought laying it out this time, instead of just going willy-nilly, is going to save me not only time, but money and frustration. So, I'd love to hear your comments on what you think about the redesign. This is 9 plates wide by 5 plates deep, which gives me 45 square base plates. It's a lot of base plates. And I hope it works out the way I plan, and I think you'll be pleasantly surprised with my ideas. And I'd love to hear your ideas on the city layout, what you think. If you have thoughts to go into the city, maybe, can I, maybe I can incorporate them and give you a little credit. And if you have a sig fig, I can put that in there as well. I have had a few ideas already from private messages, and I like them. I'm going to use a few of them and borrow ideas from places I've seen, as well as my own unique ideas. So I'm excited for this, I hope you are, and I hope you stay tuned for this long, drawn-out process, because it'll be a while. But anyway, don't forget, check us out on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and YouTube at Built From Bricks. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe, tell your friends to subscribe, and check out our live streams once a month on Thursdays at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thanks for watching. What have you built today?